On New Year's Eve 2022, an American Airlines ground handler was fatally ingested into a jet engine at Montgomery Regional Airport. The events of the day were set in motion by a minor fault with the aircraft, but the actions of the victim and others on the ground that day left some serious questions about the safety culture at some US airports. This is the tragic story of Courtney Edwards' last day at work. At around 2pm on Saturday the 31st of December 2022, an Embraer E-175 took off from Dallas, Texas en route to Montgomery, Alabama. On board were 59 passengers and 4 crew. However, the plane, operated by Envoy, a wholly owned subsidiary of American Airlines, had one minor defect. Its APU, or auxiliary power unit, was not working. Located in the tail cone of the aircraft, the APU supplies power to start the main engines, as well as lighting and air conditioning while on the ground. Although it not working was an inconvenience, the plane could still fly. However, on this particular day, it would play an indirect role in the tragedy. On arrival at the gate under normal operations, the captain can safely shut down both engines with the auxiliary power unit running and ground staff can safely do their work. However, this time, the left engine needed to be kept running for lighting and air conditioning until the ground power unit was connected. For ground staff, this meant staying back while the additional steps were completed. The pilots had relayed these instructions to them. A member of the ground crew at Montgomery Regional Airport that day was 34-year-old Courtney Edwards. A loving mother of three, Courtney was working away to ensure holidaymakers arrived at their destination on New Year's Eve. At 3.35pm, American Eagle Flight 3408 touched down at Montgomery Regional Airport. As the plane taxied to the gate, the leading hand reiterated to ground crew that the plane's engines would remain running longer than usual. They were reminded not to approach the plane until the engines were shut off. Powering the Brazilian-built Embraer E-175 are two General Electric CF-34 engines, each capable of generating up to 20,000 pounds of thrust, even at idle, the jet engine's power is immense and capable of ingesting anything from safety cones to large baggage cans or worse. The American Eagle Operator's Manual states the following. To keep employees alive and aircraft intact, you will never approach an aircraft to position ground equipment next to an aircraft or open a cargo bin door until the engines are shut down and the rotating beacon turned off. The engine must be spooled down before entering the ingestion zone. The ingestion zone spans 15 feet around the engine. A red rotating beacon informs the ground crew the engines are on and not to enter. As mentioned previously, the ground crew were informed the engines would remain running due to the fault in the APU. After arriving at the gate, the captain signaled to the leading hand to connect the aircraft to the ground power. The ground power socket is located at the front left, below the flight deck window. However, before this was actioned, one of the four ramp staff opened the forward right-hand side cargo door. Shocked by this action, the first officer opened his window to inform the ramp agent the engines were still running. As the pilot shut down the right side engine, the aircraft suddenly shook violently, followed by a loud bang and the automatic shutdown of the left engine. Confused by what had happened, the captain left the flight deck to investigate. Unbeknownst to the pilots, 34-year-old Courtney Edwards had just been ingested into the left engine. Unreleased security footage captured Courtney placing a safety cone near the rear of the plane, before walking to the tip of the left wing, down the leading edge, and directly in front of the number one engine, where she was ingested and killed instantly. The NTSB's preliminary report stated that the ground staff were told twice that the aircraft's auxiliary power unit wasn't working and the engines would remain on until the ground power was connected. While the security footage showed the upper red rotating beacon was illuminated, indicating the engines were on, a fellow ground agent confirmed the lower one working too. So why had she so casually walked past the engine? 
and why her colleague opened the cargo door. According to some US pilots in a forum discussing this incident, their behaviour was sadly not that uncommon, especially at smaller airports. According to one pilot, he said, Twice last year I pulled into the gate with engines running and wasn't able to shut down right away, and the rampers immediately swarmed the plane, popped the cargo door, etc., in clear violation of all safety protocols. I elevated my concerns to their management, and as far as I know, nothing was done. While many other pilots had similar tales, and the reason they claimed, clock pressure. Ramp and gate staff are under immense pressure from management to get aircraft back into the air quickly. An aircraft on the ground isn't making money. While complacency or distraction played a part in this tragedy, there could be other factors we may never know. Long hours over holiday period or non-work related distraction. Richard Honeycutt, Vice President of the CWA Union District 3, said this of Courtney. Courtney was a valued member of her team and our union. She represents the very best of our CWA airport members who constantly make sacrifices to serve the flying public. Her memory will live on in the hearts and minds of her fellow CWA members and those closest to her.